Condo. 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 Condo Lizo Rice. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction feed. It's up, Corbin. Oh, hi, everybody. You'd follow Instagram, Instagram and Twitter. Twitter. More juicy, 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 juicy. It's so juicy, juicy. Bang! Oh, it's still going up. That's what you said. This is a children's channel. Not anymore. The intro just says Mata Chota. What's wrong with that? Yeah, what was it? <laughs> it's true. I get an email from like an angry person I know, every day. all the time. Do you know what? They said, would you take that out? I said, fuck, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, today uh, we are doing a movie review of the, it says 2018, but I'm pretty sure this came out in 2020. Yeah, I thought it was 2022. I, th I think it came well. out in 2020. I agree. Just at the end of last year. I could I be wrong. I think so. Uh, but it's uh, the film Sir on Netflix. Uh, it's, Directed and written by and produced Rohana Guerra, is that right? Yeah. Rohana? And then starring Tilotama. Yes, Tilotama Shome, I believe is the right pronunciation and for then, that. And uh, then Vivek Vivek Gomber. Vivek Gomber. Yeah. And those are the two main people. Interesting. Do me a favor. Click on Vivek because I see obviously IMDb does not show any kind of a headshot in there. Looks like. Uh. Okay. Yeah. Producer, he's in a short film. Producer, producer. Right. And uh, he was in Court. What was he? Was he? Was must he have been the lawyer? Small. Must have been something small. Was he the lawyer in Court? I'd have to go back and look. Anyways, regardless. Anyway, uh, it's so this could be a spoiler review. It's it's ninety minutes. Uh, it's on Netflix. Go watch it. Come back if you don't want to be spoiled. Um, but uh, the premise essentially is. A prosperous young Indian man falls in love with his servant, a widow, with the dream of becoming a fashion designer. That is, that's what it's about. Yeah, that's, 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 you, you just saw the movie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, Rick, your initial thoughts, please. Um, I liked it. I, I wanted to love it. Um, based, I remember watching the trailer. There were some expectations I had based on the trailer. Um, it's definitely worth watching, yeah. especially for her. She, yeah. Tilo Tama Shome, she, she clearly, I have not looked at her resume, but I can tell from what she does on screen that she is an experienced actress. I'll be shocked if she's not. And it's just a joy to watch her be this this person. Yeah. Um, uh, part, part of my challenge is I'll get into with you after the initial outset. I just, um, based on the trailer and some other things, I, I thought we were going to get... I thought we'd halfway through get into the love story and spend at least half of the film watching them struggle to survive in the midst of a society that says you can't be together. Hmm. That's, the trailer kind of gave me that expectation. Yeah, yeah, it did. So sure. the fact that it didn't do that, as well as some other things we'll talk about, yeah. made it be something where I think if you watch it, you'll like it, but it's not something that you love. And I, I, it hurts because the script is so good yeah. that it had the potential, even in its current, even without the middle thing I was hoping for. There's some other things we'll get into that I think could have made this a, a film I would have loved yeah. in its current state. Yeah, I liked it as well. I didn't love it. I could have. like Just like you said, yeah. I, I, I absolutely could have. There was some stuff that definitely got in the way of that. Um, but it definitely wasn't her. She's a shining she's, star. I, she's, I, I'm excited to yeah, know her. I would her. love to see more of her because she's phenomenal. Yeah. Uh, she <laughs> believed every single moment she was on screen. Every moment. Uh, and yeah, so she never really had a false moment. I actually didn't have a problem, even though they did give me that interpretation. I was mm -hmm. like, oh, I thought this was we were like three fourths of the way through, and I was like, I thought this was almost a love story. Me too. And, and then we see the tension of and the so struggle. actually, I didn't mind that, even though that's what I was expecting. I didn't mind it so much because. I, I I like those endings. I I, I, didn't, yeah. I personally was okay. My wife actually, she was like, ah, I prefer them to show their relationship. Yeah, I, mean, I was like, the struggle. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually preferred that ending um, with um, just actually, I would have been actually okay if they, they never saw each other again and she got what right. she, she was looking for and then he moved on, which right. actually that might have been of what happened. Right. Uh, we don't actually know. They left it open to interpretation at the end with her saying his name, which right. was a indication of maybe she's ready to move forward. But right. also, he's not there anymore. Right. Uh, <laughs> so uh, he could be in America, and he could just be calling to be like, 
I hope you have a great life. I, yeah. I, or they could have started up. That, so I, I actually do enjoy that part of it, of, uh, of leaving it up to interpretation. But I do get what you're saying. It totally led me to believe that this was going to be a struggling love story of uh, what are they going to say in terms of his family? And also, what are they going to say in terms of her friends and associates? Right. Exactly. Of, exactly. Of the, the caste system and all that. And I, that, I agree with you. That's the, that's the smaller reason for me not loving the film. Because yeah. I do think there's some things that could have been different that would have made me love it. And yeah. he, here's, here's the main thing. Uh, I could tell, which is why I asked you to look at his IMDb page, I could tell the difference between our two leads yeah. and, and their capacity to, to, to carry a film. Yeah. And had this been her with someone like a... obvious. Obviously, Irfan. So let's yeah. saying Irfan yeah. is kind of like saying, "Yeah, sure, let's get a pink diamond." Yeah, yeah, Daniel Day-Lewis. It probably uh, exactly. would have been good. But <laughs> of our current crop of actors, the two people that came to mind immediately. The first one was Raj Kumar Rao. Yeah, you, and, and then the other person I could have seen in this role and would have given the. We'll talk about this. Would have been uh, Ranbir. Ranbir or um um. um VG Varma. As he, well. he's the, he was my third. Yeah, yeah. He, I he, thought about VG as well. He could have absolutely done this role. So he wasn't. He wasn't awful. No, okay? no, he wasn't awful. But he, he, especially the moments when he was speaking English, and I don't know why it was mostly when he was speaking English that it, even though the entire time you could see he wasn't as strong as she was, uh, but it was especially almost all the scenes. I don't know if you felt this way that were English. In terms of him, the him talking to his mom, him talking to his friend, him at the party, and where everybody was speaking because they were all rich or they were all speaking right. English, all those scenes felt very weird to me, and I don't I don't really know why. Uh, I've seen Indian films with English before, but those entire scenes all felt very strange to me and like very like like forest. You boo boo, you boo boo, you boo. Like huh. they were that part. I think he got much better when he was speaking in Hindi. But he still, he wasn't a strong actor by any No, any, here's, any, any so for example, I believed, and it was really obvious, it's funny when, you, when you're uh, a part of Indian culture at an intimate level. Uh, Keep going. The, the, are they here? I don't know. Oh. Keep going. The, um, <laughs> no. Okay. When you're, when you're a part of Indian culture and you know what's going on with, for example, saying thank you and please. That doesn't happen very often. It's considered very strange to say thank you, especially in the realm of having a household servant. So the, the moment when he first said thank you to her, and Johnny watched it with me, he said thank you to her, and I said, okay, wow, that's weird. Uh, and she said, yeah. She said, he's, he's probably been to America. And then when it turned out later, after he said thank you and please, you're like, that's interesting. Yeah, he's been to America. And I believed, I believed I wouldn't was, have picked up on that. Right, yeah, <laughs> I did, we both did. It was like, the thank you and please here, I mean, we know that Mumbai is a bit more close to LA, but this guy for sure. But so I believed that this character had been to the States and back, mm -hmm. but the larger aspect for me was twofold for him and the portrayal of the character. The first one was just the, every time we were on screen, there was just the gravity being carried by Tilatoma yeah. with her capacity as an actor, everything going on and, with her internally. And luckily she was the main person, the main most person. of this film. Right. Uh, much of the time, I found, and this may have been something where, and I've done this myself as an actor, where every decision you're making internally, you think is becoming part of the character, mm -hmm. but when you watch it on screen, you're like, oh wow, I, that didn't translate at all. I wonder if he feels that way watching this, Maybe. because I, what I wanted and didn't have was this. I didn't, I didn't care about their relationship. I didn't necessarily believe that they were desperately in love with each other, especially with him. I, I, I could, it felt like he was just rebounding after the girl had left him. I didn't find him to be particularly charismatic. Yeah. I didn't see any, when they finally get to the point where he's going to give her a kiss, mm -hmm. I, would have, I would have hoped that in the script and in everything, the feeling would have been the tension is so palpable you can cut it with a knife and the audience is going, finally, you know, we're finally getting the kiss from them because it's so obvious these guys are in love and the only thing keeping them apart is this class thing that they know they have to live in and he mm -hmm. doesn't want to cross a line and she doesn't want to cross a line. I didn't, none of that was palpable for me. Yeah. Even, even on the rooftop, yeah. I didn't feel like he was holding back from, if you're with the woman you love and want to be with, I just felt like he was up there having a conversation with her, you know? Yeah, maybe, maybe that was the point, I guess. Uh, but yeah, I definitely felt that he was, 
he was the part of the film, and I don't know what you mean, but he was the right. part that can, really kept me from loving the uh, film as opposed to... And uh, their relationship. From, from me, I liked the film, but keeping me from loving it. And it, he, he but, wasn't, and that's the thing, this is one of those weird ones where you can't just point to it and go, okay, that was bad acting, because for the, for the most part, he didn't have anything that was glaringly bad. We're talking about these added elements, and it's, again, not fair yeah. to say... If you have an Irfan or a Ranbir or a VJ yeah. or a Rajkumar Rao, they're going to bring a level of connectivity to it that she brings. She's that level of yeah. screen presence. Yeah. Uh, so it sounds like we're ripping on the poor guy. Yeah. And I think it does come from experience as well, the incarnating of the character in a way that makes it palpable in the yeah. way that she did. Because I, as much as I was a, didn't love the film... If this was on television, yeah. if I'm flipping through the channels looking for something to watch and it's on, I would watch just so I get to watch her act some more. Yeah, I really enjoyed every single scene that she was the one that was the, I mean, every single scene that she was in and she was the main one acting, I really, really enjoyed because I thought she is such great screen presence. She's mm -hmm. beautiful oh, and, and also the way that it was as, as written as well in terms of, it was so sad some of these scenes. <laughs> Absolutely, when they she were. was she one obviously all of his family and and the friends were extremely rude mm -hmm. and then him trying to jig she means what well, no she fucking doesn't right right she's a dick no <laughs> and, I'm you gonna, treat and i'm gonna servant, apologize to her yeah, why if you treat your servants that way yeah go f yourself mm -hmm. like <laughs> people are people everybody deserves to be treated with respect exactly except for rick that's uh, true. but no like the, especially the party scene where she was serving and no one looked at her yeah i know not like not even treating her but, like a human but that's and that's true yeah i mean that's and Ronnie specifically pointed that out to me mm -hmm. she said we i paused it and she she was waving at me and i paused it through the phone and she she said that is absolutely she said you guys don't have that in the united states you have classism, and you mm -hmm. definitely have the racism aspect. Oh, for sure. But the whole caste and class issue, yeah. where a servant is not treated with respect, that is absolutely one hundred percent. Like when she true. was thrown out of the the fashion shop. Yes, then, she, she said specifically that happens. Or the, when the she tripped over, and that that designer was a major dick to her. Yeah, uh, and then. She was the nice one in the end. They gave her a job. Right. Okay, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I, I didn't a, appreciate it. A shout out as well. Again, this is why the, I was so wanting to love the film. I thought the... I think the story in the script is strong. Very strong. Yeah. I think the cinematography yeah. was gorgeous in some of those shots. I loved her dancing scene. I did too. I loved like she just let I loose. I did too. She let loose. <laughs> and it was, it was wonderful. And I love some of those establishing shots of... Uh, Mumbai and beautiful to see the city mm -hmm. and uh, so so sad and there's a point again a cultural thing halfway not even halfway through the film I said to Indrani I said why is he living all by himself that's so odd in Indian culture mm -hmm. to be she, and well, Indrani she, pointed out yeah she got he got he, he was that, supposed to be married at the he was supposed the film. to be getting married so yeah. they were going to be together yeah but he's still there and he's still alone so this this extra sense of isolation does convey something, particularly to an Indian audience, mm -hmm. of how empty and alone he would feel with not only, you know, he's been cheated on, he's not going to marry her, mm -hmm. and he's also choosing to stay there, so he clearly doesn't have close enough family relations, which is very Western. Yeah. And so I... I I wish I could have loved the film. Yeah. And, it, and this has happened before where we, we really wanted to love a film and we just ended up liking it. Yeah. That's happened before. And that's, it's, but it's definitely, I would definitely, I think it's worth a watch. It is worth a watch. Uh, and I think it's, I'd give it a B minus. Um, I, overall, I, around a B, right? I might even uh, give it a B solely because I think the story is good enough. She's great. She, she is all the reason in the world you want to yeah. watch it. She just is a beautiful actress to yeah. watch on screen. There was just a few things that I think could have taken it from being a good film to a great film. Agreed. Um, but yeah, so let us know what you thought about this film uh, and uh, why we're idiots. I'm sure you will. <laughs> <laughs> you always, you do. always do. So uh, let us know uh, what's the next film we should watch down below.